it's opening morning finally it is here so it is about 5 50. we're up we're dressed the car's loaded packs are loaded everything's ready to go we're gonna go up to a glassing spot have some coffee and we are gonna go bust our and find these rams so let's go let's do it let's find them <laughs> Opening day. <laughs> it's so blurry. How comes it's so blurry? I don't know. Is it blurry? It looks blurry to me. What time is it? Game time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we made it to the glassing knob. And they're not out right now. Where we had seen them Sunday. So we're gonna give it like half an hour or so, we'll see if they come out. Otherwise, we're off to the next glassing spot. That's the plan. Patience. a whole lot of U's. Classing up U's for days. But no Rams yet. So the search continues? Yeah. Anything else? Beautiful morning? It's gorgeous. It's not windy. The sun's coming up. I think the group of six is still over here. I don't think they've crossed down through this valley. Um, but we can't even glass up the rams we saw th over there yesterday, so I don't know where everything is. Just a bunch of ladies eating, eating all the grass. But it's not windy. It's so nice. It's gorgeous this morning. There's people like paragliding down by the river. With like jetpacks on. Yeah, like they're just like hovercrafting around the river. It's so bizarre. Back to the truck. Those are the keys. Oh. <laughs> what do you think? Get some breakfast, maybe? Yeah. And then, and then we're going to head up to the bluff and go look off, which is on the other side. It's kind of hard to see because it's so bright out here. But we're going to head to the bluff, which is over this thing. There's a little bluff back there. We're going to head up there and look back into some clearings on top of this 
mountain right here. Well, first thing we need to get some fuel. You want to hunt like a winner? You got to fuel like a winner. <laughs> Definitely. I'm gonna get some breakfast going. What do we got? We got Alpen fuel lemonberry granola breakfast. Yeah, well, we just tried that yesterday. It was super so good. So good. First time ever trying it. it was Definitely delicious. suggest that one. And, and then a, a classic. Yeah. All time go to Mountain House. B and G. B and G. On the jet boil. For a little warm. On the mountain. We're just uh gonna eat some food and then try to go find these rams. That's the goal. We gotta find these freaking dudes. They're somewhere out here. We just gotta find them. And once we find them, we'll be in business. But the hard part is trying to figure out where the heck they went. Okay, I got some fruit. We got some peaches and some apples. We came to town. To the good old K-Bell. We looked for sheep up here. None. But <laughs> got some ice. Waters. Some fruit. And we got some lighters that we desperately needed for our jet boil because it's not lighting that well, so. Anyways, just a little pit stop, and we're gonna be back on the road. Let's get it. <laughs> okay, so we were glassing from the highway. He spotted a ram, so we moved a little bit closer so we could get a better look at him. And he is a ram. He's just not a very big ram. He's like the mini ram. So. He just bedded down in the grass. I think that's him. So, at least we found a ram today. That's exciting, right? Yeah. Not the one to go after, though. No. Especially not that far. Give you an idea, he's right up in there in that little grass side of that hill. Update time. We were feeling slightly discouraged, if I'm being completely honest, about the lack of glassable area and rims. And then we came up to where Heath saw the Ram group Friday morning. Yep. And he pulls up his binoculars and he's like, oh my God, there they are. So. We gotta gonna, figure it out. We're going to make a plan and go after them because my, my boy's in there. Oh yeah. So here's camp is like right here, guys. You can see the top of the trailer. This big grass opening is where we've been seeing them. I caught them up in this other little thin grass opening up in there so they're up there they're all together and they're feeding out in the sun right now so we gotta figure out a way to get up there and get a shot at them like we know they're here now that's, right that's great we know they're here it's just like they're gonna be on one of these openings it's just like i think we post up right now and we just watch them Unless you think that's a bad idea. No, I, I honestly, I have a funny feeling they're going to bed under those rocks. Which, if they do, you look in your body and it's like, they're on that clear patch. Mm -hmm. It's clipped out below it, but I think right. if you kind of go around the cliffs and kind of work your way through the timber, you might pop out right on the bottom side of that grass. And if they bed right under those rocks, we could shoot right uphill at them. Like, some of them are starting to come out. Now 
Now they're all coming out into the open. We're here at camp. Sorry, there's a dude with a chainsaw literally up the road. But uh, we're glassing up onto the mountain behind us. That's where those sheep are. We're trying to figure out a game plan. Trying to figure out what they're going to do. They just kind of keep meandering around. We thought they were going to bed. Three of them did bed. And then they got up and they keep following the sheep that Kendra wants to shoot. That she is named Marshall. <laughs> Anyways. I don't know. Why, <laughs> just that's that's entertaining. Anyways, they're up there, and we're just trying to watch them and see what the heck they're gonna do, so we can make a logical, reasonable game plan to go after them. So we're just kind of hanging out here at camp, front country camp. All right, guys. They kind of have been hanging out in the same spot for about an hour. So I think we're gonna give it a try. We gotta go up the road a little ways, and then we got about a, uh, it was 500 yards from the road to them. They're probably 550 now. Um, and then to the edge of the like meadow that they're in is about 160 from where they're at. So we got about 300, 350 yards straight uphill through some timber. And I think if we're super quiet, we should be able to pop out right below them. I think we should be able to get a shot off. Nerves are going a little bit though. I'm getting a little nervous right now, so. Let's get going though, huh? Let's get up there, let's get this ram down. He's there, he's in a killable spot. They haven't gone anywhere in like an hour. They've been hanging in the same exact clearing, so. I think we just need to go get them. We are headed up the mountain to make a stock on the rams. <sighs> I'm so excited and nervous. <laughs>
says, okay, there's another chance to let the wind switch for us. shed. Alright, let's go. This is turning into a shed hunt. Just spotted one. Oh, it's a nice big old white.
drove around to the, uh, to the back side to glass. We didn't see them at all. So, they must still be up in the timber or on one of the little clearings on top of the mountain where we can't see them. So, they're still, they're still around the same little mountain though, and it's freaking tiny. Yeah. They just... Being very selective where they're feeding. coming out and feeding. <laughs> Mostly on the one that we probably can't see. Or they're just not coming out and feeding at all. Day one's over. Uh, we woke up early and went and hit one of our glassing spots. Kind of glassed a bunch of different places. Had to run into town to get some more water. Um... <clears throat> and ice for the cooler. And then as luck would have it, the group of six was, you know, we could see them from camp. So we made a play on them and uh, we must've just missed them. They must've just gone to bed and then it got wicked hot. And so we came back to camp at eight. And then we went back out and waited to see if they would come out tonight. They didn't, so we went around to the backside. They didn't come out on the backside. Um, talked to some elk hunters. Said that they saw some sheep um, crossing the road. So the game plan for tomorrow is going to be pretty similar to what we did today. Um, we're going to swap looking down into where our backcountry camp is and go up on a bluff that, so that we can kind of see the ridge, all of the ridge where the group of sixes and hopefully get eyes on them because we don't want to wander up on that ridge without knowing where they're at. So that's the plan for tomorrow. Super solid first day. Sheep hunt 2022, day one in the books. Now we're going to eat some dinner, go to sleep and do it all again tomorrow, but hopefully we'll see Marshall and we'll put him on the ground. That'd be great. We'll see you then. All right, day two of Kendra's sheep hunt. We are uh, waiting for Kendra to put her contacts in. And then uh, we're gonna head up the mountain, go to our glassing spot, check it out. Hopefully we'll see them. If not, we've got kind of the game plan is to just kind of glass our way down the mountain. So if you were watching yesterday, we saw the group of six with the ram that Kendra was after. We went after them, but we couldn't really uh, get a shot or see them whenever we got there. So, so we've gotten one stock in yesterday. We have found the rams that we're after. We just got to figure out where the heck they're going to be so we can actually go after them and get a shot. So it's going to be a good day again. We're going to have so much fun. And hopefully we can put a ram down after we figure out these contacts. All right, we're here. The glass in the spot. KK said, we're crushing on our times. Been. <clears throat> 6.15. Still kind of getting light. It's pretty dark out, so not like super dark, but you can tell. It's not the best glassing light yet, so give it a little bit of time to about 7. Kind of glass these sides, and we'll start working our way down. And then we'll go up over to the bluff and try to look back over here and see if we can see our boys. Be nice to try to find it to find them today. Yeah. Oh, anyway, that's the plan. We'll keep you posted. Well, we've given this what forty-five minutes now. Mm-hmm. They have not come out on our side. Excuse me. Sorry. So I don't know. We'll go down, glass up into the other area. We go down and go up to the bluff and see if we can look across and then look in there. Try to find them, that's the goal. 
Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. A little tired, no coffee this morning. Dragging a little bit. Well, we came up here to our glassing knob. Spotted some sheep way out right up there. Got, uh, looks like two rams, smaller rams and a bunch of ewes. Kinder said they're moving pretty fast now for some reason. They're way out there. I don't think they're that great of rams, so I don't think it's anything that we're like super interested in. I can't tell if they keep getting spooked or if there's just lambs in that group that are like running to catch up with mom and then they all run. They're like, okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, what are we doing now? Going back to the truck so that we can go hike up the bluff. We're gonna go to the bluff right there, hike up on top, look back across. That's the goal. Hopefully, we can see our boys. Slow morning. KK says it's a slow morning. It is. I think it's alright. There's not, yeah, there's not as many sheep out as there was yesterday. Like, we saw like 30 sheep yesterday morning. We've seen like 12 lately. <laughs> but we did see two rams that we didn't see yesterday. Yeah. Nothing we want to go after, but. Alright. Well, we're coming off the bluff up our, our glassing spot, and there's all these cattle. And I look up here, and I'm like, those don't really look like cattle. Sure enough, there's some sheep. What a lamb, two ewes and a, three ewes and a ram. Three ewes and a ram. He's not the one we're after, and he's definitely not not as big as even the last two that we saw over there. I would say, but it is a ram. He's legal. No, it's day two. He's not Stop. a day two anymore. Not that long shot. Honestly, why can't that? I know. I was like, those are not cows. No. No. That almost looks like mini ram. Man, week three, I might be looking at you a little harder, but <laughs> I just can't. I can't no, break no, I know. Tempting. He's not the one. Let's head to the bluff, huh? Yeah. Let's we'll see if we can find our big boy. We're getting ready to hike up onto the bluff so that we can look onto the bridge that the group of six was on yesterday. And see what else is up there. Got a sweet big camp behind us. But we're gonna go, gotta go up this bluff up there. It's not too bad of a hot little hike. It's actually a pretty sweet little old game trail going up there. There's usually some sheep up there, huh? Yeah, we haven't seen any up there this morning, but maybe they're over the ridges that we can't see the little boulders. We'll see. Which way are we going? That way. We're making breakfast on the mountain. Anyways, we got Jet Boil. 
Bam, some biscuits and gravy again. Bam. It's all smashed. <laughs> Some of the KK stuff. Some homemade granola. Well, we hung out on the bluff for a long time. <laughs> and we didn't see anything but use in that one ram, but we're not willing to go after them just yet. Still want to chase the big guys. And we're not really sure where they are, but we're going to keep looking for them. Yep. And it's really getting really hot, so it's getting cooking out. We're gonna go back and shed some layers. <laughs> Strip some clothes off. We're pretty much up here, totally exposed out here. Nothing <laughs> on this bluff. It's time to head back to the trees and then to the truck. Are they? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> this is the hillside. <laughs> All right, well, we came back up here this afternoon. Or this evening, I guess. Night two. Up here at our main glassing knob. And we are out here looking for the ramps, but they're not out here. But surprise, surprise. They're not here. But we were going through uh, our phones and we found a. Uh, I have some footage and some pictures of some really nice rams throughout the last month. So we know there's more rams out here. We just like don't know where they are. But we've seen some out here. Yeah. So it's just a matter of finding them again. We've got video and photos of some nice rams that we've looked at. Yep. Just don't know where they're at. Well, the goal is the glass. Some more. Glass, glass, glass. There's a storm rolling in from the south, but it looks like it's gonna stay that way. It's helping keep the temps down. It's nice and cool. So Finally, it's not like 85 degrees, fully exposed, no trees. Yeah. Ugh, that's brutal. <laughs> we were cooking today. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sunburned. Are you? Yes. You need a Gila hoodie. So we haven't seen any rams. We haven't seen any sheep at all right now. So, we're going to drive down to a different glassing spot. And since it's cool, we're just going to glass there for the rest of the night. See what happens. All right, guys, we're on our way home. This is actually the entrance to the place where me and... Sorry. Bless you, where me and Kendra got married. But uh, right across the entrance up here, there's some sheep. I'm pretty sure it is all ewes. It looks like about 10 ewes. But a bunch of different ewes, sheep we have not seen. So, I don't know. Kind of cool, I guess. Ending the day strong.